Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I wanted to do a quick video on the MLB slate for tonight. I didn't think I was going to have time to do it, but you know, somebody at my at my my hair cutter just called me and said that my my haircut's going to be delayed for an hour, and I'm really really annoyed about that. You know, in general, but may as well take this opportunity to do a little 15 minute recap of what's going to go on tonight um, uh, with. The slate, it's it, again, it's one of those slates that very few people are focused on um, with what football tomorrow and college football today and all that stuff. So these are the types of slates where you can get a, a decent edge, I think. The other thing is that the, the the overall options, especially pitching, are just, just awful. Um, so I think that you can get away with taking some shots pitching wise um, and not have to take too many shots hitting wise. And we'll talk about that. As a matter of fact, just just for fun, uh, just for today, I'm going to pull up the uh, the uh, the DK stacks uh, sheet that I have up here, and show you how everybody rates. So, as you'll see, looking down the left column, you'll have San Diego rates as extremely the, the extreme best play. Okay, um, to be a 13 point edge over the next one is you know it's, it's usually what you get when you have a great matchup in Coors. Um, so nonetheless, it, it is a strong likelihood that they are the top stack. And as you also see, their ownership is significantly higher than anybody else also. Then you'll see there's a couple of other options here, like the White Sox, the Indians, Seattle, Dodgers, Colorado. And they all look very, they all look very close, you know, and all the way down to Houston. There's a big drop to Texas and Arizona, but all these other ones look very similar. So if you're going to pivot, what I would do is kind of just go for the low ownership play. And at least for now, it looks like it's either Cleveland or the Dodgers. Um, those are probably the two places I would go um, with respect to pivoting off of um, off of uh, San Diego. I have the White Sox pretty much the same as these others with, you know, probably like obviously twice the ownership, but at least, you know, 1, 1. 1.5 times the ownership. And, uh, so that's what I would probably do is either play San Diego with really low owned pitchers or play Cleveland and Sandy, uh, Cleveland and or the Dodgers. And if you play them and San Diego fails, you're obviously going to be well ahead of the field. Let's take a look at the pitching though. Um, let's pull this up. Now, if you've been following these, these sheets since I've been putting them up here, you'll notice something that these sheets value scores for this slate are extremely low. Usually you'll get guys up and around the 50 area. And sometimes you'll see the distribution, you know, the top pitcher at about 50, then a 45 and a 42 or something. But, but today, I mean, the top rated value score is, is 38, which is in and of itself, very poor. Okay. Um, so, you know, when, if you get a situation like that, where you have kind of this cluster here, and one guy is going to be significantly higher on than everybody else. Uh, that's usually an indication that you want to fade it. All right. Um, so if you do in fact get Joe Ryan at 36% ownership, it's probably not the worst idea in the world to fade him. Um, so you, in my opinion, you probably want to go down to these other guys. Now, again, I didn't do any deep dive in the Davis Martin yet, um, but he's a cheap, she's a cheapo for the white Sox who just rates just as well, pretty much as all these others at less than 10% ownership. So I would, uh, I would, I would at least from eyeballing it, just take a shot with that. And then you have Reed Detmers, who I usually don't like to play, but it is, it is on a slate like this, an ugly, ugly pitching slate where you really don't want to go for the chalk. Um, I think you could do this. What, what I think people will do is they'll go to the guys that you've heard of. You know, you'll, you'll go to, to Valdez, you go to Logan Gilbert, and all that kind of makes sense. Or you might even try to pay up for you Darvish and whatever it is. But and Kershaw, maybe they'll play him, even though his pitch count has been you know severely limited. Um, I just assume let other people play those guys on a slate like this and take kind of the ugly, the uglier plays like the Davis Martins or the Reed Detmers. You could play Joe Ryan. You know, but I would pair him probably with these two. And what you can do with that is you literally can play whoever you want hitting wise. And what what that means, I mean, when you go back to these these hitting options, 
number one, you don't have to worry about ownership too much if you play those cheapos. And the other thing is you don't have to worry about overpaying for guys like Soto and, and Machado if you're going to play the Padres. But like more to the point, if, you, if you're going to play one of these other pivot stacks, like for specifically the Dodgers, the one issue you always have playing the Dodgers is their, is their price. But if you're not going to have to worry about price because you're p- playing those kind of low-owned, awful-looking cheapos, um, you're, you're going to be in good shape. You know, you'll be able to play the Dodgers with kind of, you know, salary impunity, right? So at least in an early look, that's something like I would do. Like, I mean, I can't do the whole thing, but just for example, if you put the Dodgers in um, and look, going against Montgomery, cer- certainly no bargain, right? But, you know, whatever, this is it's DFS, anything's possible. I presume Freeman's going to play because he didn't play yesterday. Let's put Muncie in. Let's put Betts in. Let's just literally pay for the the entire United States of America here. Let's put in. Let's put in one. Um, put in another lefty. You know, we'll put in him, or we'll put in what's his name, uh, Bellinger, one of the two. So you have all five of these guys, which usually is kind of difficult to do. But here, if you go ahead and put in, like, you know, who would I say? Um, who's that? Who's that guy from the White Sox? Like D. Martin. I mean, he's he's against the Tigers. I mean, how bad can he be, right? You know, let's take a look at him while we're here. It says second straight turn through the rotation. Okay, he had five five strikeouts in six innings, and he played. He was against Detroit before. Okay, so they're giving him uh, giving him Detroit again. I take nineteen points, right, out of six for for six K. Sounds good to me. And then the other one we said was. Um, who was the other pitcher? We said Detmers, for example. You do something like that, and then you can play like all these Dodgers, you know, and hope they go off. Now, again, it's not the greatest matchup in the world. Like I don't remember the last time Montgomery got got lit up, which is really what you need. Um, yeah, he got, you know, he gave up six runs to Milwaukee. That's going to be good enough. He did give up five runs to Atlanta, so he certainly is the capability of getting lit up. So. I think this is actually pretty sharp. I think you play the Dodgers, you double pay down for pitching, and that then you're kind of off to the off to the races. Now, if you didn't want to do that, you didn't have it in you, and you wanted to play the chalk, the good thing is is against Chad Cool. I mean, they're going to be so owned, but you at least don't have to worry about pricing. Oh, they only made him fifty. I was kind of almost hoping they made these guys like six K, so it would be kind of difficult to play. Um, but as it stands, I mean, like all these guys are so cheap. This is kind of ridiculous. You have to play the expensive jury. But like, but as I was saying, you could play these five guys and you could be instantly different by playing the, you know, the two kind of like ugly looking cheapos, um, as opposed to the probably the better plays, right? The, the safer plays, um, such as Joe Ryan, such as. Valdez, so, I mean Valdez is gonna, you know, he's gonna pitch eight innings. <laughs> I think the guy never, guy never has a bad game, right? Um, let's let's look at Valdez for example. Let's just take a look at him. I mean, oh my God, first time? Oh no, he made it. He has like a hundred thousand quality starts in a row, a million pitches in a row. I mean, he's extremely safe. I mean, to fade him is kind of asking for it. But you know what? When you're playing a slate with with, with incredible ownership on Coors. I think that's one thing you have to do is ask for it a little bit. Um, so again, that, that's kind of what I, where I'm at for the MLB slate. Um, at some point between now and lock, I'll update projections. Um, and that should pretty much do it. So once again, I just want to give you a quick look at uh, what my sheets looked like and what I was thinking for the slate.